to theater. Joining us in studio is I-24 News culture correspondent Maya Margit. Hey, Maya. Hi. How are <laughs> you doing today? Good, good. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to tell us about uh, the Gesher Theater right here in Tel Aviv? Great. So the Gesher Theater has this very unique and original production that just premiered not long ago called In the Tunnel by Minhara in Hebrew. And it's a very unique play that pits Hamas fighters against Israel Defense Forces soldiers. Mm -hmm. What happens in the play is that they're both stuck in a tunnel and they come to a very close encounter. Very interesting production, very different. And uh, I went to take a look and interview some of the actors and mm. we have the report here for you guys. Is there a light at the end of the tunnel? This is the question a brand new play in Israel asks. Written by Roe Hen, In the Tunnel premiered at the Gesher Theater in Jaffa. It's a fascinating production that combines political satire with fast-paced scenes and gut-wrenching performances. The play pits two Israeli soldiers against two Hamas fighters in an underground tunnel near Israel's border with Gaza. Will they escape? Do they survive? That's up to the audience to decide. I didn't know what to do with the ending of the play. I told myself, if they just kill each other, it's a terrible ending. On the other hand, if there were to be a happy ending where no one dies, the story would be kitschy. In real life, you can have both good and bad. And then I understood that because it's a political satire, I should let the audience decide. You decide what ending you want, just like in a democracy. The sad ending is closer to reality. That's what happens most of the time. The happy ending is a form of escapism, whereas the other ending is the truth. War and peace, hate and fear, Israelis and Palestinians. The stage itself reflects the play's sense of dualism. In fact, there are two parallel worlds. On the bottom, a world of war and conflict. On top, a world of politicians, journalists, and media spin. The message of the play is very strong, especially when it shows the media circus taking place in the world above the tunnel at the expense of those stuck down below. Overall, I think the media is the most heavily criticized group in this production. Although the media play a pivotal role in Roe's play, the Hamas fighters and IDF soldiers are at the heart of the story. So what happens when they all find themselves trapped in the tunnel? Suddenly, war and the decades-old conflict become personal. In this country, we're born into a situation of hate and fear, and we learn that Arabs are our enemies. And on the other hand, they're also born to hate us, the Jews. And it's a real tragedy, regardless of political beliefs. I live here, but I'm from the other side, so to speak. I'm an Arab Palestinian, and I work in the arts and entertainment industry. Up until now, I think this is the most unique and interesting play in its way of depicting both sides of the conflict. It's the most neutral production I've seen. Ultimately, Roy hopes his play has the power to transform a situation many see as black and white. I hope this play can change the way people see the conflict. Maybe they'll understand that underneath those uniforms, there's a human being, both on the Palestinian side and on the Israeli side. So is there a light at the end of the tunnel? The stage is set. The rest is up to us to decide. Maya, this looks so good. It's really good, and it's very different from regular plays that you normally see. This play deals with today's reality. It's very contemporary. It's also funny. It's a comedy. It looks really funny. We it saw is. the belly dancing guy at the very end there, <laughs> yeah. a little throwing on it, exactly. throwing him in there. It's really, it looks really good, but also very thought provoking. Very thought provoking. It criticizes everyone, including the media, especially the media, mm -hmm. because most of what we see from Gaza and from Israel is through the media via television screens. So they're trying to criticize that. They're also critical of politicians. Uh, you know, it's it's a very interesting and thought provoking play. Okay, so if you want to see this and you're in Israel, where can you go see it? At the Tel Aviv Gesher Theater, it's sold out most of the time, so you have to have some luck and buy far in advance. It's going on for the next few months. It's probably going to go on for a very long time because it's very, very successful. Yeah, so that's about, mm -hmm. is that generally what happens with these sort of productions is they, they will extend it yes. if there's a big demand? Yes. Okay, well, I really hope to catch that. It looks so good. Maya, thanks so much for this. Sure.